Hello, welcome to IT Security Labs. And in this free Grafana course, I'm going to teach you how to install your own Grafana server from scratch. I don't require any experience. And in this second video, I'm going to show you what you need to do first. First thing that you need to do is install CentOS 7. You can install CentOS 7 in uh, VMware Fusion. This is VMware Fusion right here. You can even install it in VirtualBox by just uh, creating a new machine in here. Or if you are like me, you can install your CentOS 7 in VMware vSphere in a more production environment like. So depending on what you need, you first need to have your own hypervisor or you can install this on a machine. It's up. By the end of this course, you should have your own Grafana server that looks like this right here or you can uh, I will show you other graphs as well so you know what we're working towards so there's a lot of things that you can do with Grafana you can monitor virtual machines you can monitor all these things so it's definitely worth uh, looking into so once you have your hypervisor be it VirtualBox, VMware Fusion or VMware ESXi depending on where you want to do it Go ahead and download the CentOS ISO by just clicking download from the CentOS.org site right there. You can just choose your own mirror or you can use the main one. I'm just installing uh, this one right now so you can go ahead and download it. I already downloaded mine but uh, once you download it, if you're using vSphere like me, you want to just go to your data stores, make sure that uh, you go ahead and upload it to, the, to your data. So as you can see, I have mine uploaded to my data store right here. By hitting the upload file, you can always go and upload yours here. So just do upload, choose the file, and it will be there. VirtualBox, you don't need to upload anything. And the same as uh, VMware Fusion, you can just create a virtual machine. So once you have it uploaded to your vSphere, if you're following my, my setup, go ahead and uh, create a new virtual machine. With actions, new virtual machine. Then uh, I'll just name this monitor. This is the machine that we're going to install InfluxDB, Telegraph, and Grafana. So we install all three on one machine. And in addition to that, I also set up a separate machine for monitoring metrics. That's just Telegraph. And I'll show you guys in the course how that is done. So over here, I just choose the data center. I need my nested class on this host. Then next. Storage, I want it to be on this. And next. And then next. Case OS, I want it to be Linux. Send OS 7. 6 to 4 bit, then next. And for CPUs, I just want to give it 2. I want to give it maybe 4 gigs of RAM. Hard drive, I want it to be 50. Then uh, from here, I want data store ISO files. I know it's in the data store one from under ISO and send OS and okay. I want to choose your data store ISO file and connect to it, then okay. And once you power it on, should boot from that CD. So we launch web console and it's asking us what to do. We want to install CentOS 7. And hit enter to begin installation. So I'm just going to fast forward this so you don't have to watch me Hit next and next and next, but it's pretty much straightforward. 
on how to install this. So you choose your language. And right here, you want to make sure that you have your Ethernet adapter and it's connected. It's on. And from here, you should be able to get an IP address. Once you know your IP address, you can just say done. And the partition, if you have more than one, you can always choose here. So I say done. Then begin installation. Root password, always set your own root password. Then done. You can create another user if you don't want to log in as root. So we can name this Grafana and make a password for them. And done. And of course, as you can see, there is 313 thing installation processes that have to run. So Obviously, I will fast forward this part so you don't have to watch the whole thing. So mm -hmm. while still going, I will just go ahead and show you uh, what I've done with Grafana just to make sure that um, you get an idea of what you can achieve. I have World Ping here. World Ping um, is a plugin that goes and checks the health of my website. And in this case, it's AfricanCoupons.com. And this is in real time, so as you can see, uh, I'm able to log in here and see how my website is doing. These are probes from different places, and they all uh, measure different metrics. So, th for example, I can go and uh, check DNS. And I even get a nice map here. So let's go back to our CentOS and see how we're doing. Okay, we want 196. So going back to WorldPing, uh, that, so that's what I have there. Um, I also have other dashboards. Uh, let's do a manage. You can see I have a power usage dashboard. This is pretty much measuring my power usage in real time and it looks like it's broken. So let's fix this in real, in real time with you right now. Something changed here and I need to fix, make sure that I'm still getting, oh yeah, my data source changed. So I can just do influx DB. And as you can see, this is my total power usage over the last 24 hours. So I can save. So that was nice little experience with Grafana dash. And then, um, if we go back, we need to do this for all of them actually. I'm just fixing my dashboards. They are broken, but I'm using 154 watts on this power rate right now. Save. So you're just learning how to fix dashboards. Don't worry, we have these dashboards for you. I'll show you everything that you need to know to be able to go and create these dashboards for yourself after installing our SendOS today. And me fixing my dashboards right now makes this uh, series less boring. Instead of you just watching a lot of installation steps, at least I can show you what everything looks like. But other than that, I can um, see a lot of information about, say, my data stores. I want to see how my data stores are doing. There we go. You can see the capacity free and and all this and this can be on a tv or something so i have two data stores right here as you can see and then um the other part i can show you is the virtual machines themselves the individual virtual machines in my vSphere cluster which is right here i can go back to my grafana and actually view them in real time as you can see cpu utilization cpu ready percentage and all this good stuff so that's uh, what you can get. The only other annoying thing is if a virtual machine is down, like here, you get all these uh, blank. But otherwise, this is what you see.
So going back, you can see that we are done with the installation. We are almost done with the installation. So I will just um, pause and continue when it's done. So once it's done installing, you can just go ahead and log in. Uh, the machine automatically restarted, or you can restart it yourself, then you can sign in. So this is how you install SendOS 7. You can do this on any other platforms, like I said. And once you install SendOS 7, you are ready for the next video, where we'll be installing Grafana, InfluxDB, and Telegraph. So I'll see you guys in the next video.